Hello guys again. It's time for another data disc unboxing video from Slopes Game Room. I'm Dan, this is Slopes Game Room. Sorry guys, very excited. Whenever you get a box through the post that you know is from data disc, I've taken the label off that said that had my address on it. It's always a good day, it's always a good day. Now, this is the very first time that Slopes Game Room has actually had a record gifted to him from data discs. Um, uh, but they haven't asked me to, uh, uh, hasn't judged my opinion on the record or anything yet. I mean, but I haven't opened it, you know, it may be bad, you never know. Um, <laughs> but if you go back and check through all of my other unboxing videos, you'll see that uh, I'm actually a humongous fan of the Data Disc Records um, label, and I've liked every release up to this date so far, so it's pretty much uh, a given I'm going to enjoy this one too. But we're just going to get straight into it. Um, yes, like I said, this is the first time they've actually um, sent me a review copy uh, to, to check out. Um, I will leave links everywhere in the description, and you'll be seeing them on the screen as well, of what the rec uh, uh, of where you would be able to buy these records and some of the previous ones I've spoken about. Uh, but I will say that this is 100% my opinion. They have not judged it whatsoever, but let's be honest, I'm probably going to like it. Okay, let's just get straight in, straight in. Uh, this is the 11th release, I believe. It's getting on. Let's move this out of the way for you, shall we? <laughs> My horrible monster drink uh, habit. Okay. We are getting straight into this. Number 11. Oh, it looks thick. I love the big... Is it a double? Oh, I can't remember if I saw if it was a double or not. I purposely tried not to look into it too much. I know what one it is and obviously you do as well as Gunstar Heroes but I didn't look into it any more than that ah yes it is a double Gunstar Heroes oh, ignore my laptop going kicking off there ah, here it is Gunstar Heroes beautiful artwork as usual double sided and by the looks of it no it is not a gatefold this time uh, we'll have to see what's inside Look at that for a lineup now. Data 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you want to check out any of the unboxings on any of those records, go back and look at my unboxing playlist. I reckon about 70, 80% is all down to this record label. I'm <laughs> a big fan. Uh, they've had Streets of Rage, Shame You, Should I Be Free, Super Hang On, probably maybe still my favourite looking. Um, uh, Streets of Rage 2, Outrun, Golden Axe 1 and 2, Panzer Dragoon, uh, Revenge of Shinobi. Oh, that's a good one. And Galaxy Force 2 and Thunderblade. And that one actually was probably the biggest surprise. I didn't know anything about that really. Uh, but I've listened to it so much. Really, really good one. But anyway, let's get into this. I have no idea what they've, you know, if they've done a colour splat. Or if they've even sent me the colour splat. Maybe they've sent me the original black one. We will just, we do not know. Well, you probably do because I would have written it in the in the, uh, the title bar. Never mind. Okay. Music from Treasure's acclaimed Mega Drive game. Oh, look, I've pulled it off. Let's take that out. Ah, yes. Number 11. Hell yes. Hell yes. Okay. I always like taking those OB strips off. I do keep them. They're a nice little area in my attic, in all honesty, where they sit. I do like them being completely... Um, uh, just seeing nothing but the artwork and data this always well pretty much always tend to put the original artwork on here Now feels there's a lot in here. Is there anything other? No, it looks like we've just got two record sleeves. Let's make sure there wasn't any extra cards Let's just pull the first one out. I'll do it this way so you guys can see it oh, I don't know what you're seeing, but I'm loving what I'm seeing Wow That's pretty nice that is seriously nice. Uh, as usual, I'll do some nice close-ups of the music playing at the end. And let's open this one up. Oh, look at that. They're just so worth buying these records. Just for the... the, the look at that, the artwork alone. Uh, and yes, I have done a complete history on Gunstar Heroes. If you want to check that out. Uh, yeah, please do. Please do. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. Oh, so, so nice. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, that's all that's in there. Oh, no, it isn't. <gasps> Ooh. There is actually a card in here as well. Okay, okay. Here we go. 
<laughs> Look at that! That is beautiful. Oh, oh that, that's, that's... It reminds me of those posters you used to get in um, uh, the Nintendo Power magazine. I never had, we never had them in the UK, but I always see YouTubers having them on the walls, you know, Angry Video Game Nerd, that sort of thing. Um, uh, yeah, that looks so, so nice. And check this out. Jump cut! <laughs> Sorry, guys, just as I was about to reveal whoosh, this. Ah, how cool is that? Um, the battery died, but yeah, anyway. Look at that! Oh, okay, so. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this it does seem like it's the full image of the original, you know, cover. Um, but it seems way too long, you know, it feels like you might have missed a bit on the side, maybe, I'm not sure, but that's that's what I cut out when I, you know, when I uh, uh, did my incomplete history on this. So maybe, maybe it is the full one, but just maybe a little bit longer. But that's so, so nice. Oh, hell yes. Makes you want to buy it twice. <laughs> that's so, so nice. Anyway, let's get into the record. I ah oh, worth it alone. The amount you know they always go and get the original artwork. Well, most of the time they get the original artwork. I think Outrun was different, and um, there was one other Super Hang On. But like I say, that was probably my favourite. Let's see what they've done with this. Have they gone splatter? Have they gone just single colour? I don't know what. Okay, I can see. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what one I've gone for first. I think this one might be one and two, or side A and B. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Hey, <laughs> look at that. Simple, but awesome. That's so, so nice. And I'm guessing the other one uh, is going to be the same as well. All different colours, I'm not sure. No, 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 it's the same. There we go. <laughs> look at that. Hell yes, hell yes. Um, guys, like I said, they sent it, these to me to review, but it hasn't clouded my judgement. I still love everything data discs do um i have experienced not any of the unboxings that i've done but i have experienced a couple of other records that i've got and you really do notice the difference in quality um you know in the production side of things you got a lot of hissing a lot of crackling tickling sort of sounds that you get um when you're playing them you do not get that with data disc records the amount of effort these guys go into is unreal i'd highly suggest check out their social media which i'll put on the screen um uh, they do give the odd glimpse once in a while on how they, the, 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 the extreme lengths they go to get the very best quality sound. Uh, whether that's just, you know, going to the main guy or using these crazy contraptions to get their music. Which, um, uh, I think you'll be seeing for the Streets of Rage 3 release, which is probably going to be coming probably near the end of the year. I, but that's my guess, anyway. That's my guess. But yeah, they announced this one a very long time ago and I'm very happy to get it. Oh, oh, let's see if we can see the hidden text. Let's see if we can see the hidden text. Okay. You know what? I don't think there is any. Oh, that's a shame. I oh, know. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay, here we go. Collect all the gems to break the spell. This, I'm, I'm going to try and get a picture of this for you, but it's impossible. Um, oh, man. This is really hard to see. Use my spell. Special Modi Modi Field Cart Oh modified obviously modified cart Use my special modified cart Okay <laughs> And finally C and D let's have a look uh, come on, it's got a bit. Oh, this is so hard. This is the hardest I've had to read these. Let's have a look. Back has built a black has built a silly dice maze. Dice maze. Oh, the dice maze level. Yes, of course. And finally, well, oh, you can see this one's a little bit more bobbly. Let's have a look. I've dug. Up this small speedy space hip for space hip. Oh, spaceship, obviously, for you. Really hard to see, really hard to see, but they are there, and that's what's really cool. They do these little little things um, data discs do, and yeah, that's probably why they're one of my favourites, absolutely. 
Um, very excited to be listening to these guys, and as usual, I'll be following up this now with some nice close-ups of these records. Uh, again, if you want to check out the website, go and buy some of the, uh, I don't know if this one's available anymore, um, uh, but go and buy some of their previous releases. Um, Sheets of Rage 1, if you can get it, get it. Uh, easily played that probably more than any other record I've ever owned, actually. I love that record. Um, yeah, links in the descriptions, on the screen, all that sort of stuff. But anyway, I'll leave you with the music and the close-ups. This is DJ Slope signing out, and hopefully I'll see you all next time.